Now there'll be yet another meeting tomorrow as much of the Western world wonders what it can do about the growing tensions between Russia and Ukraine. There's to be a referendum this weekend to determine whether the Crimea should stay in Ukraine or go back to Russia. David Cameron called it farcical, illegal, this is the referendum, and illegitimate today. The Polish Foreign Minister Radek Sikorski was in the UK to meet William Hague to discuss their response to rising tensions today. Afterwards, I asked him why Europe refuses to recognize the referendum. Well, it's under gunpoint with the presence of foreign troops on Crimea soil and uh, without the regular um, electoral rolls and without the supervision of uh, international bodies and in violation of Ukraine's constitution. But the definition of nationality is surely the wishes of the people, isn't it? Yes, but uh, we all have constitutions. You're going to have a referendum in Scotland, but it's done by consensus, not by breaking existing law. Wouldn't you allow the possibility that there comes a point when national borders become incoherent? Well, that is exactly the principle at stake. I think after World War II and after the Cold War, we have agreed in the international community that when there are ethnic disputes across national boundaries, we try to overcome the boundaries and to fulfill the rights of citizens without changing boundaries by force, which is how the Second World War started. You've done it in Ulster, it's been done all over Europe, and it can be done provided you, you use institutions that we've created for those purposes. But its international position has changed since the Second World War, hasn't it? There's no reason why it shouldn't change again, is there? Uh, Ukraine has uh, given up voluntarily its nuclear weapons. And in return, she received guarantees from the United States, United Kingdom and Russia of her independence, inviolability of her borders, and freedom from pressures, for example, trade boycotts. Think of what signal were to be sent to places like North Korea and Iran of the value of our guarantees in return for dropping nuclear ambitions if we don't protect the inter inter territorial integrity of Ukraine. If a majority of people in Crimea say they wish to be part of Russia, who are we to deny that? If the majority of Crimea have an issue with the Ukrainian government, there are ways by Ukrainian constitution to do that. And for example, if they wanted more autonomy within uh, Ukraine, uh, I think that is something that, that Ukrainian government would consider. But we're not talking about autonomy within Ukraine. We're talking about a wish to belong to another country. Right, well, Britain has had those uh, dilemmas before and, and uh, you sure. have to be very careful Look, how to handle it. But if a majority of people in the Falkland Islands, for example, expressed a wish to become Argentinian, we should respect that. And the Argentinians invaded and you sent a task force to, the task force yeah. to take the islands back. Precisely because, because there are ways of doing it by law and there are ways that are completely unacceptable. Because the majority of people in the Falkland Islands resisted the invasion. We have no idea what the majority of the people of Crimea want because they have not been asked and it's unlikely that they will be democratically asked. Well there clearly is a demand among some people in Crimea not to be part of Ukraine. There may be some but uh, there are ways of expressing that constitutionally. And what better way is there of judging that than by holding a referendum? It can be done, provided it's done legally, not uh, at the point of a foreign gun. Supposing that this referendum goes ahead, and it gives, you say it will be unfairly conducted, and it gives a result you don't like, what then? Well, uh, I think Russia will, um, the European Council has, uh, decided that there will be consequences. And we are all very reluctant about it because we all have commercial relationships with Russia. But the principle of not changing borders by force 
uh, is an important one. And um, the European Council has decided that, just like the United States, Europe will impose uh, visa bans and asset freezes. Will they go any further than that? I think if, if Russia invaded mainland Ukraine, they could go much further. But you'd accept the invasion of Crimea? No, our whole conversation is about you trying to accept the invasion of Crimea. Well, I just don't understand why it's any business of ours in this country. Because uh, you had leaders who said uh, that uh, these are faraway countries of which we know little and we know how it ended. Thank you very much. Thank you.